Hello, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Trying to change up the openings a little bit. Um, kind of a very strange kind of beer today. Although I take some pride in knowing this is made just and two hours from my house maybe. This is Butternuts Heine Weiss, an all malt vice beer. Uh, no description on the back of the can, but as you can see, brewed by Butternuts Beer and Ale, Garrettsville, New York. And check out their nice. website. So we got, you know, over four fingers of head. It's a, you know, a white, almost bright white, spongy, foamy, soapy kind of head. Uh, the body is, you know, it's it's opaque mostly. If we look really close, we can see some carbonation, or as PEI homebrew would say, carbonation bubbles in there. <laughs> uh, it's more, you know, it's like a pale yellowish kind of color, uh, very hazy. That's to be expected with a wheat beer. Okay, it does smell, uh, you know, pretty authentic, pretty much in the line of the style. Kind of the light banana bread, not so much banana bread, but banana, or banana peel. And there's a definite lemon character in there as well. Yeah, I mean, it smells pretty good, so let's give it a taste. Hmm. You know, it smells pretty authentic, but it doesn't really taste nearly as authentic. Um, I did get the kind of, a very light banana kind of flavor in there. And the lemon came through too. So it, but both of them had like a almost overly sweetened artificial kind of taste to it. Instead of like banana and lemon, it's almost more like banana candy and like Sprite. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's a very wet, very cold beer. Um, which is one of the first things I notice as soon as it hits my tongue. Uh, flavor is, you know, it's it's quite mild. Although I notice that's, you know, of the entire Butternuts line, they're all, they're all pretty mild. Um, getting that, it, it's definitely more on the sweet side than it is bitter. But it's also, and even that is mild. So, you know, it's like a, you know, slight kind of candy taste to it, but, uh, you know, um, a lot of these, the wheat beers, especially the German ones, tend to have real spice in there, you know, coriander and all that stuff. Not getting any, like, spice notes here, like, there's nothing, no little pepperiness there, there's just kind of a, a strange, almost kind of astringency, right as it finishes. The aftertaste is alright. It is definitely more lemony, now that I'm really getting down to it. It's a little bit more lemony than it is banana. I'm still getting like this slight kind of banana bread, banana candy flavor in there. Um, the mouthfeel is, I don't know, I guess medium bodied. It's it's soft. It's it's very smooth going down. Um, you know, I've only what taken three or four swigs. So I'm just about done here. Got all that head hanging in there. In its own way, that's kind of impressive. I'm trying to make any more mess here. So, um, final thoughts and grades for the Heine Weiss. Um, it's okay. It's definitely nowhere near in the ballpark of, you know, this beer and Schneider and all those other ones. Um, but for, you know, a small brewery making a canned wheat beer, you know, it's okay. Um, I could honestly give us a thumbs up, just kind of barely. I'll go, you know, I'll give, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. You know, that's, for me, that's, that's, it's okay, it's average, it's, you know, I could drink it, I kind of like it, there's stuff, there's stuff to like here, for sure. There's not a lot, there's not, nothing, like, particularly repulsive about it, other than it's, like, overtly mild, but, uh, that kind of slight astringency, astringency you get right as it's finishing, but it's, it's easily, easily tolerable. So, yeah, 6 out of 10 for the Butternuts. Tiny Weiss, a Weiss beer, you know, if you can find it, check it out, it's good for a hot day, bring it to a barbecue, picnic, whatever. So thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it, Chad just reviewed it, thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews.
trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. Come join us for the second annual Saratoga Brewfest, Saturday, June 18th, 2011 at Elms Family Farm in Boston Spa, New York. Festivities are being held at 1.30 for VIP ticket holders and include a special luncheon and guest speaker on the process of crafting organic beer. General ticket holders can enter at 3 p.m. and passes will include delicious local food, live bands, and over 40 breweries sharing over 100 beers. Tickets are available May 1st. Check out saratogabrewfest.com for more information.